When the point, Jesus said, learn from me. Yesu alisema, jifundisheni kutoka kwangu. The idea is learn his life. Ehe, jambo na musiki hapa, nuku jifundisha kuhusu maisha ya kuristo Yesu. Now the time when he used mud and his saliva was a man born, born blind. Wakati alipotumia mate na udongo alikuwa anamsaidia yule mtu aliyezaliwa akiwa kipofu. Perhaps Jesus because all of us came from dirt. Dirt soil. We came from soil. Aha. Sisi sote tuliumbwa kutoka kwenye udongo. So the material that bring the healing to the I can also came from the soil. That God causes the material to come from the soil. Sisi kumbuka huyu mtu kutoka kwenye tumbo la mamake alikuwa kipofu na sisi tumeumbwa kutoka kwa udongo. Kwa hivyo pia Yesu angetumia vile vitu ambavyo vileumba mwanadamu kuleta uponyaji kwa mwanadamu aliyeumbwa kutoka kwa udongo. Then perhaps this is the reason why he used soil and the saliva. Hiyo ndiyo sababu Yesu akatumia udongo na mate yake. And I think that it's not important to follow his formula, his method. Nasio basi muhimu sana kufanya kufuata vile alivyokuwa akifanya manake utajaribu kufufua mfu na hata kufufuka. So utaitwa mwongo. When is you know regenerative miracle that is some body parts that will be rebuilt you can try the method. Aha basi kuna zile njia zingine za kibiblia unaweza kuzijaribu kutumia. The main thing is not the method but faith in God. Jambo la muhimu sio kufuata zile mitindo lakini jambo la muhimu ni wewe kuwa na imani kwa Mungu. And faith in God people interpret it differently. Na sasa kuwa na imani kwa Mungu watu wanaitafsiri tofauti. Some people think of faith in God is like this. Watu wengine wanafikiria kwamba imani kwa Mungu ni sample hii. I have to believe very hard. Lazima niamini kwa nguvu zaidi. I really believe. Lazima ninaamini. Yes, I believe. Ninaamini kwa kweli. And then miracles will come. Na sasa miujiza itakuja kwa sababu umeamini kabisa. Then they are setting the eyes on how strong the faith is. Sasa watu hawa wameelekeza tu mawazo na macho yao jinsi walivyo waamini kwa nguvu. Now to me faith is believing God has the power. Mimi kwangu kuamini ni kuamini kwamba Mungu ako na nguvu zote. So my definition of faith is this. Kwa hivyo yeye anafafanua hivi, anatafsiri hivi ili neno imani. When God promised, I relax and trust in him. Katika ahadi za Mungu ninadunga kwa Yesu. When God works, I relax and trust in him. Kwa hivyo Mungu akifanya kazi, mimi ninadunga ndani yake tu. That means any time you say Yes I believe I know God will work. Inamaanisha kwamba kila wakati tutasema mimi ninaamini Yesu na ninajua atatenda. To me that is faith. Wake hiyo ndio imani. Now you can try to make yourself believe very hard. Unaweza kujaribu kuamini unatumia nguvu zako nyingi kuamini kabisa. The main thing is what are you believing? Je, swali hapa ni je, kwa kweli unaamini? If we believe that God works. Kama unaamini kwamba Mungu anafanya Then we can relax and trust in him. Wewe utamwamini na ukae tu kidunda mwa Yesu. You know, and same time we relax because God will take care of it. Na sasa wewe unakaa tu umetulia kwa sababu unajua Mungu atanipigania. At the same time I believe with all my heart. Na wakati huo pia unaamini kwa moyo wako wote. So faith is saying yes I know God will work. Kuwa na imani ni kuwa na uhakisho wa kusema kwamba najua Mungu atatenda. I know he is good. Najua Mungu ni mwema. I know he wants to care. Najua anataka kunijali. I know he wants to bless. Najua anataka kubariki. 